The ego has landed. How the pronoun I is mystically influenced. The etymology of the pronoun I. I, in English. This is the most accepted etymology of the pronoun I, in English. The etymology of the pronoun jaw, I, in Spanish, is shown here. The etymology of E or I, in Italian, is shown here. As you see, and is pretty obvious, the etymologies of the pronoun I in English versus the Spanish and Italian versions are not directly related. The connection between those three languages, English, Italian, and Spanish, lay on their Proto-Indo-European roots. The word ego, pronounced ego, which meant in Latin language I, the personal pronoun in English, evolved from ego to ao in vulgar Latin. And this ao into jaw, in Spanish, and eo, in Italian. When, or where did the letter G from ego disappeared? Why no romance language at this time uses ego as I? Introducing the God Goddess Io. Io, as immortal lover in Greek mythology. Io was in Greek mythology one of the mortal lovers of Zeus. An Argive princess, she was an ancestor of many kings and heroes, such as Perseus, Cadmus, Heracles, Minos, Lynceus, Cepheus, and Danaus. The astronomer Simon Marius named a moon of Jupiter after Eo in 1614. The book, The New Nation written by John Morris mentions the following about a deity, named as Eo. The book, Materia Hieroglyphica, containing the Egyptian pantheon and the succession of the pharaohs from the earliest times to the conquest of Alexander. And other hieroglyphical subjects, written by John Gardner Wilkinson, mentions the following about E.A. Okay, let's go. Pay close attention, open up your third eyelid. Read between the lines of the scripture. Connect the dots and see the big picture. Listen, 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 you gotta stop being so naive The government is corrupt with corporate greed We got service in the White House, service in the Congress Service in the Vatican and snakes will snake you May I suggest you wake up and smell the bloodshed This genocide, hurry up and repent May I suggest you wake up and smell the bloodshed This genocide, hurry up and repent
to the show, please settle in. Make yourself at home, please settle in. Get around, gentlemen and ladies, you don't want to miss this. Shit about to get real, you about to learn some real shit. One hand in the air if you're not scared. I said, one hand in the air. The Encyclopedia Britannica, or Dictionary of Arts, Sciences, and General Literature, mentions the following about E.A. At Vendera, this character is a companion by the epithet God, and without any female termination, as well as is in several passages of a epistolographic manuscript sent home by Mr. Banks a circumstance which is favorable to the opinion that Io was considered as masculine in mythology as well as is in grammar, just as men or lunus was sometimes made masculine by the Greeks and Romans. The fact, however, is not absolutely decisive of this question, since the character is not accompanied by the declination of any personification of the deity. The historical description of the god Thoth, or Hermes as the scribe or secretary of Osiris, and the inventor of writing sufficiently identifies him with the person who is perpetually represented standing before Osiris, and writing with a keel or a style on a square or oblong tablet. He has always the head of an ibis, and this bird standing on the perch constitutes his hieroglyphical name. As the image is known to have the emblem of Thoth, the hieroglyphic for letters is also frequently found among his titles, and all these circumstances abundantly confirm the opinion of his true character, which Soga and others had already advanced from computer only. The book, The Great Dionysiac Myth, Volume 1, written by Robert Brown mentions the following about E.A. The book, The Gnostics and Their Remains, Ancient and Medieval, written by Charles William King, mention the following about E.A. Here Ea is associated with the goddess Isis. Here Ea is associated with the goddess Isis. The book, Encyclopedia of Women in the Ancient World, written by Joyce Salisbury expressed the belief of Ea to spreading the cut of Isis. Discussion. Until here, we know that Isis is the same as Astarte, Diana Lucifera, Hecate, Demeter, Luna, Venus, Ishtar, Inanna, Lucifer, Ninziana. As female deities, some of them duel. So, obviously Io is related to Isis and to Diana Lucifera, Lucifer. What about if the change of ego into Ea was introduced by linguists with esoteric influences in order to do a reference to the goddess Ea? Our Spanish viewers will understand that Io was also a way of saying yo in all Spanish language. See the book. Del origen y principio de la lengua castellana o romance que hoy se usa en España, by Carlo Bulliet, 1606. Final discussion. Results a matter of interest how is not certain known by scholars how ega, in Latin, turned into yo in Spanish, and ea in Italian. On the other hand, 
The etymology of the pronoun, I, in English is mentioned by various scholars as originates from Old English which had in turn originated from the continuation of Proto-Germanic roots. But somehow, we, ancient secrets wisdom, think that the pronoun, I, in English might be related also with, E, A, in Spanish and Italian, with the suppression of the, O. But this is only a theory of us. Result a matter of interest how Eo is related with the goddess Isis. Conclusion We consider the change of ego into Ea as some sort of spoken or linguistic reference to the goddess Ea, specifically as an exaltation of the human being. We know that Yahweh, Yeho, identified himself as, I am, that I am. So an exaltation of the human being, identifying himself as, I, might be considered as an, inversion, of the, I am, that I am, mentioned by God. And also an exaltation to Eo, the goddess known also as Isis, Ishtar, Inanna, Lucifer. Okay, let's go. Pay close attention, open up your third eyelid. Read between the lines of the scripture. Connect the dots and see the big picture. So listen, so listen. You gotta stop being so naive. Your government is corrupt with corporate greed. We got service in the White House, service in the Congress, service in the Vatican, and snakes will snake you. May I suggest you wake up and smell the bloodshed? It's genocide, hurry up and repent. May I suggest you wake up and smell the bloodshed? It's genocide, hurry up and repent.